Oh, tops a month. Oh, has it been? No. Wow. No, it's been a two days. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so the, the mural is, uh, is done now. So, um, um, now the story behind here is that this is the, uh, the donut tree. Uh-huh. And this is, uh, it was named the donut tree because it was an arbor day tree that was planted back during the century. And then, uh, they cut a hole in the middle because the telephone line at one point in time went through it. Um, and then, unfortunately, the city cut it down. Somebody cut it down back in the 90s. But everybody was really upset about that. And everybody is, looks nostalgically back at the old donut tree because it was kind of like the place that everybody used to meet, hang out, and uh, people used to go on dates there, and that kind of stuff. But, um, but anyways, there's different aspects to the donut tree. One was that uh, the monarch butterflies, I heard this from several people, because I got asked about 20 times, because I do a lot of paintings of Old Mountain Home. Uh -huh. A lot of people ask me to do um, painting of the donut tree. I probably got asked like 20 times to do the donut tree. So finally I did it. <laughs> but anyways, I kept hearing stories about monarch butterflies, people meeting there, people fighting there, people having dates there, losing their virginity there. <laughs> <laughs> um, or, and also, they had like a, uh, a little pond behind the donut tree that kids used to go get pollywogs and... and uh, and frogs, and, and that's what this, this whole mural is about. It's about the donut tree. This is, of course, the monarch butterfly. This is kind of like a, well, I guess you call it a trompoy, but it has like a, but what's nice, though, is this is metallic paint, so this is, this is copper. Right. And the, uh, the building, which is Pioneer Federal Credit Union, they're behind Walmart in Mountain Home, they have um, kind of a copper trim. So, you know, it's, it's custom designed around the building, so... So this copper, now, the wet, when the sun sets in the west, it's going to hit this thing directly. So it'll really light up. My thought okay. is that it's just, going to, it's just going to glow. All the copper here, all this metallic copper is, you can see a little bit actually. Yeah, I can see it right here. Shining, yeah. See yeah. it's shining right here? It's going to like, it's going to explode. So that's my plan. There, there you go. This is my second mural using um, metallic paint. And you actually suggested where to get that. Oh, in Boise? Uh, yeah, in Boise, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the metallic paint, I, on another mural I use silver and gold. And people tell me when the headlights hit it, that unfortunately the sun doesn't hit the American Legion. But when, this, when, when, they, when they hit it with the headlights, it just really explodes. What, which, what mural was that? American Legion. We just put it up this summer, this last summer. Oh, oh, you're talking, okay, it's yeah. The, the building, one. the yeah, eagle one. The eagle, yeah. yeah. It was designed around a dollar bill. Oh, it was? Yeah, yeah. Well, my audience there was was older people, mostly veterans. Uh huh. And I thought something that would be very, um, I guess, uh, something that would be not too radical, but you know, pretty safe, was a dollar bill. And so then I designed uh, the home mural around a dollar bill. So. Do you have Artopia do that too? Yeah, they helped. Artopia helped paint it. Yeah. And in fact, they're doing a mural right now of the uh, a giant tiger for the high school. Oh, they are. Yeah, yeah. I On a board. Uh huh. Uh huh. Where are they gonna put that at? I don't know. <laughs> you should give it to them and go for it, huh? Yeah, they, they're just going to do it. I'm, it's just, it's, it's too much. It's just like, it's big. It's a big deal. And they don't have any money. They, don't have, they have zero budget. So. <laughs> Is that your phone? Nope. It's not? Oh, no. That must be one of my kids' game. Well, if you want to come down here. Yeah, uh, yeah. What's with, uh, that's a 55 Chevy? I, yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah, looks like This it. is, uh, I put 2010 for the date and then it was painted. Oh. So, yeah. Yeah. Something different. Um, yeah. Chevy. Uh, this is Nick. Okay. And Crystal Cupper. And I just had uh, the kids that model for this up here. Yeah, I got that on video. Yeah, did you, and yeah. we did a photo shoot with them just yeah. for fun. You know, just like uh, have an artist. <laughs> Sometimes they kind of <laughs> set up, you know, like this. Like I have a live model as I pay them. <laughs> Sometimes I do. But... Like kids will actually stay. Yeah, like they would actually. <laughs> Yeah, I made a living uh, coming out of art school doing portraits and caricatures, and it's tough. That's a tough way to make a living. I oh think. yeah. Yeah, I did that for six months. That was that was tough. Jeez. It's actually my daughter model for this. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, originally I was gonna put uh, another character here, but for some reason I just like the whole um, concept that, you know, maybe it's kind of like a hopper painting that. You kind of wonder what's going on because you know some behind the tree. Yeah, I mean, because he always has people just looking out, you know, in this barren landscape. But, <laughs> I don't know. I just 
I just kind of liked her just looking at the street. You know, like she's waiting there for somebody. Who knows, you know? Yeah. It doesn't have to be a, a, an entire story encapsulated, you know? You don't have to have it all spelled out for you. You know, you can kind of... Uh, well, that's what makes the, the fun, or paintings fun. Yeah, I wanted it to be a little bit more daydreamy. Of course, the donut tree, more copper. Then, um, yeah, so this is only almost going to hit the, uh, a vent up there. Um, and these are the kids in the painting. Uh, Austin, Andrea, and Dakota. They're friends of mine. They lived uh, down the street. <clears throat> they, they were really excited. Uh, their parents are going to be there when we put it, put it up tomorrow. Yeah, I'll... It's going up tomorrow. I'll try to video, or come videotape that, too. But, oh, yeah. And so, so how did they, how'd they contact you? They just know you because it's a small town? Yeah, it's a small town. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice to be a, a, a larger fish in a small town. Don't you think? Yeah. Well, no, yeah. I, I just trying to... Uh, uh, a lot of people don't know how, how it works. And that's why I was just really telling yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's if who you, you if know. If you do nice work and you work your butt off, then people, people notice and they call you. So. Yeah. I get a call almost... You know, every day or every, you know, every few days, somebody wants something, you know. Mm-hmm. And you can make a living doing that, but. Um, how long did it, how long did it take you to do this? About three and a half weeks. Okay. Four weeks. The problem was, is I, that I had a busy year. No, that's fine. So they've been waiting for this. Yeah. But, yeah. But. they've been patient. So. Yeah, and my year, I've done probably a hundred projects this year. That's the problem. Yeah. Is that I've just been so busy, so. Ah, uh, cool. And did they did they pay right away, or did they pay when you get done? I I made arrangements for four different payments. Okay. So they would pay, you know, a quarter, and then so I'd have like, and it, it's a goal for me too to have like a different landmark, you know, like, you know, the painting's half done, so you know, or the the concept drawing is done, you know, can I get one quarter of it? Right. It's half done. Can I get another quarter? It's completely done. Can I get another quarter? And then um, it's 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 actually put on the wall, and then can I get the last quarter? And yeah. So, yeah. That way, also, I'm not just waiting the whole time for a check, which is a nightmare. Yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah. You need to get. You need. I, my. I always think that it's good to have goals, to, to achieve them. You know, it helps you get it done. And then, and then if you, you know you get money, then of course that's what makes everything go around. You know? Yeah. So that's what greases the wheels. Is the money. So. Yeah. No. I, um, yeah. Because artists. Yeah. Artists have to survive. You know, just like everybody else does. So. Yeah. I agree. Well, good. Well, then I'll uh, I'll leave it this, and we'll uh, we'll see it when it's all hung up. All right. Thank you, Marcus. Thanks, Eddie. Bye.